Hello, welcome. Right, we're back in. This time I actually did um, I just knocked up a quick break beat using something out of the old zero G jungle sample pack or whatever. Just so I don't have to mess around making a beat now, I can just get straight back into it. Just been having some absolute nightmares with streaming with Darren because we've got to do a stream together at some point and uh, yeah, we're just trying to set up a multi stream, which is a nightmare. I could also hear myself in the mic, which I don't quite understand. But you have to deal with me today because it's been pretty, pretty stressful as per usual. So, yeah, we'll just, let's just get into it. So, this is the beat. Straight in, just a little break beat. I also didn't realise I, I got a different monitor, so the resolution was completely different. I didn't get time to resize it, so I just shrunk it a little bit. So, yeah, okay. Shout out to everyone who is logging in live. And everyone that's watching it back on YouTube. Okay, so... Let's just try and get a string first or something. Uh, yeah, to be, to be honest, it jumped up on me. I'm taking on all these different streams. It's like, fucking hell. Oh, Jesus, they come around quick. Uh, so again, this is just another one. This is the Nord Thick Pulse Width Tone uh, from my Nord League 2X, which is uh, a lovely synth that I'd never sell. Digital synth, but it's beautiful. Let's try and get just like a hanging chord. I always like a, a muted chord. So let's just like bring the filter down. Okay, yeah. Let's just up the voices. And do the release a bit, because like I said before, it's just all about just messing with the releases, the envelopes, a lot of these things, getting good sounds. So let's just get in there. Nice little uh, 
string, that is the Nord thick pulse tone. Her instruments simpler. Just using the simpler as well because it is just a simple sampler with filter envelope. Just easy to use. Let's have a look. everyone that's actually went out and um, brought the sample packs on the band camp. So again, it's about moving the sample points in a lot of these samples as well because a lot of them might be modulating so you can just drag the sample point along and then just hit different nice sections of it.
groovy filter.
shit, sorry about that. Let's blow everyone's eardrums, sweet. But yeah, just moving the start point, now I could just set up. Uh, set up a little thing just to record that. And then let's just move this. selection of things that I really like. But let's uh, just whack a limiter on this bass.
reckon that was that like really really nice warm vibey pad we had now I just switched it into some sort of nice like use that pad again so I'm gonna duplicate it so we've got it like that and let's go back to creating a bit of a warm vibe of it again so let's put that back on a low pass
that's basically I got a new monitor and uh, it's like a 4K monitor, completely different size and it was set up for my last monitor and uh, literally just realised as I went to stream two minutes before I clicked go live, realised it was all fucked. So um, yeah, you'll just have to wait till the next one when I sort that out. But, uh, without all of the like the little CMVX bits and stuff, it, it was just in the way. But the Bruce is still there. I will sort it out next week. What is this phase keeper string? So well, let's just switch it up again. There was some see there's some really nice sounds there. Get to hear all that. Like, let's move in another direction. This is the same break. I just chopped it up and put some delay and just fucked around with the delay times and stuff just to have a little bit weird. And we'll have a little look, um, making something a little bit. So 10 bags, so I'm just go back to drop five. I'll try and say what samples I'm using now because I keep forgetting to do that. Um, Nord Terratones, I think this is just like a big take of like FM modulated stuff. So we'll be able to probably get a shitload out of this. Um, use this like by tightening the envelope right up. I'll tell you what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna Let's just flick for it. Okay, so uh, I'd like to. Sorry, I'm just, uh... Okay, let's tighten that right up so we get some little, like, FM glitchy bits. What I'm going to do is just going to record and drag that start point around. Just with some crazy bits. Okay.
gonna play with this more actually. So what I'll do is I'll stick a effect on that. Let's chuck this echo back on it. Go back to the Nord Terratone again and put that back, filter back. Oh, I quite like that. Terratone record. Fuck, say what's going on. Oh, hold on a minute. Teratone, why are you not recording? Am I missing something here? Just fuck that off. Okay. Let's just drag this back. Let's go and grab the ones that are down here with a bit of modulation on. So I'm just building a little bit with this still on the Nord Terror tone. I just want to see how much I can get out of it before we move on to another sound. from something like that. We're still on the Nord Terra tone. Getting some sub out of it now. Or just a nice. It's not a sub tone, this. Let's just uh, copy that. There's no effects on these or anything yet, so let's duplicate that. Uh, 
get back into the Nord serotonin. Be a 
Schmeiß das hin. Once you've got a little rhythm going and you've got some little weird bits that are all pitching around, as soon as you start changing the, the key changes and some chords, it just flips everything. So personally, if I was building a tune, I'd have it <clears throat> just all stripped back, building all those little bits, slowly like introducing all those weird glitchy bits and stuff and then just hit the chords come in and it's just like, oh, here we go. It's just going nice. But again, this is all that one sample, the Nord Teratone. I mean, what? Well, let's just stick a... I'm not even using any effects on these really at the moment, so let's just stick some uh, reverb on there. Let's make it nice. Let's cut the lows off. Nice decay. Bit of chorus. And you know what? Maybe let's just stick an EQ on here and just clean out a bit of that. Clean out a bit of the mud and try and bring the highs up. Well, I say the highs, but try and get some of the artifacts where it's been rolled off. I don't know what it sounds like. If That's what it sounds like when you start moving the frequency around, so it's just muted, creating a nice. It sounds really nice, muted down like that. gonna do more with this more teratone because it's got a lot there it's definitely value for your money go and buy it go and buy that shit i'm gonna do another sample pack soon as well i've been creating a few little samples so start building it okay so this one back on Mouse. 
looks nice. Keep this beak so I really like that actually. All that weird, weird stuff going on. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm losing my brain. Simpler, um, 10 bag sample session. Let's find a new sound. Yeah, that's gonna work. Love a fifth, and I. Uh, yes, yeah, shouts to Darren. I still haven't quite got over all of that fucking streaming malarkey. I just jumped straight into the hot st- seat and I'm just like, my mind's blown by it all. It's just so much pressure. We will get it sorted though. Okay, I'm going to stick the reverb on again. I always like to just cut off the lows and just like keep almost like a band pass sort of bit there. I always forget this has got some sort of mid EQ. I guess that's the CPU load. See how much you use, but let's uh, wait that up a bit. And again, let's get the overdrive or whatever it's called to saturate. And there you go. Pop that on, drive it up a little bit. Yeah, that's like some. I'll tell you what, let's move it in to the start point like that. 
Bring this down. this key again, see if we can get something else going. Um. Yeah, so this is the same one, I'm just not playing a chord with it now, just muted it a bit. So 
off the back of that, you could even just like grab that there, chuck that straight into there, what we just did, and then be like, I don't know what this is going to sound like. It's probably, it's already a chord, so let's just have a look. That's just reversing it and playing a little bit with that now. I just realised we haven't really got a bass in there yet. Let's have a look what else we've got in here for the bass and then we'll jam a little bit. Okay. Tech stab. Can we make it not so techy? Let's have a look. Yeah, I like the 
sound this, let's just mute this off even more. Oh, that one. Let's extend the release.
lovely sounds of this. I've just muted it off a little bit. And, uh, I mean, let's put it on the band pass and see if we can catch something nice. And, but, um, let's have a look. What audio plugins should we put? Let's put a chorus on it. And let's put a simple, what the fuck's called a simple delay call in this thing? Uh, it's not echo, here we go, it is just delay. Nice one. So yeah, that's it with, with a little band pass on it now.
Session. Sample pack for myself. I'm going to continue to do these sample tutorials. Um, just 
just to show you what you can do with like yeah maybe I'll do a different genre like next time and just get a little 130 thing popping and just mess around with some stuff or like you know who knows but um as you can see minimal sounds loads of vibe once you've started to arrange this and sweep some things in it's uh it is definitely value for money because uh We've again just scratched the surface of the sounds. And, uh, yeah, so I mean, I'm probably just going to wrap it up because I am very hungry. It's been a busy day and I've had, like, I actually had a McDonald's, which was really bad. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time, but it was pretty good, but also pretty bad. Uh, I need to just have a nice hearty meal now and just chill out. But, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the uh, session again. It's always uh, it's always fun to have a little jam, and it has unwound me again. So yeah, my tension is gone. I'm chilling, and I'm gonna just eat and get into bed and chill out. Bit of PlayStation, but yeah, remember to um, catch Darren if Darren's streaming tomorrow. I don't know if he's streaming tomorrow. We've got something up our sleeve which we're gonna announce soon. But um, if not, I'll see you. Probably in Scotty's stream on a Saturday. And then we're back in again for the Sunday session. So, yeah, good music, good influences. And uh, I'll see you lot then. So, yeah, thank you for uh, tuning into this. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>